So hyperbaric oxygen is an oxidative therapy. It creates an increased oxidation inside your body. That oxidation is a major cell signaling chemical that is going to be the reason why we see most of the benefits of hyperbaric. Not only is it okay that the hyperbaric chamber is oxidative, it's part of the process that we're looking for in order to stimulate the changes, the healing, and the regeneration that we see from hyperbaric oxygen. It does that through mitochondrial cellular respiration. Mitochondria is bringing oxygen in, it's processing that oxygen, creating cellular energy, and a, one of the waste products of that process is increased superoxide. It's one of the most potent free radical inside of our body. Your body, your patient's bodies are all designed to tolerate oxidation and specifically from superoxide. So not only do you get this increased oxidation, which will signal a lot of healing and regeneration, which we'll talk about in a moment, but it also stimulates your own intrinsic antioxidant response. So your body has superoxide dismutase. It makes it. Your body has glutathione. Your body has catalase and peroxidase. So your body has these chemicals inside to protect you from increases in superoxide from cellular respiration. So when you're being overoxidized from the outside world, your Wi-Fi router, the radiation in the air, someone who's maybe drinking too much or smoking or all the different sources we have of oxidation in our world, in our environment, those external sources of oxidation, those will deplete us, absolutely. But when you're becoming oxidized from within, the oxidation is coming from increased mitochondrial activity your body not only has a defense mechanism against that, your body will also increase its own antioxidant system. So you get increases in superoxide dismutase, you get increases in glutathione and catalase, your body increases its capacity to tolerate that superoxide anion that's building up from mitochondrial function. So that's a benefit. As a patient has more capacity and tolerance for superoxide, the body will also become more resilient and tolerant of other external sources of, of oxidation as well. And so not only will they start to handle and tolerate the chamber experience better, they're actually gonna start to handle and tolerate the environment that we're living in. That's an important benefit of the hyperbaric experience, of the oxidative experience. On the other side, superoxide is also a chemical that is going to stimulate healing, regeneration, and anti-inflammatory response. So as a result, of increased cellular respiration as a result of that increased superoxide inside your cells, your body is going to signal hormonal regulation, DNA repair, tissue repair, stem cells, and reduced inflammatory cytokine response. So many of the benefits that we're looking for from hyperbaric are actually stimulated from that increase in superoxide. So not only, again, is it an, an important part, it's actually a big piece of what we're looking for. So there are times where you're trying to stimulate those pathways, and so we want that patient to experience oxidation. We still start at lower pressures. If I'm gonna have a patient who's sensitive to the pressure or sensitive to the oxidation, I want a lower pressure problem. That's gonna stop us from really setting a patient back or stimulating symptoms unnecessarily. But as we build the pressure up and we get them to the protocol that we're trying to get them to follow, they will be more tolerant of the hyperbaric experience and again, of their environment. And so this creates a more robust cellular response to oxidation overall by purposefully and slowly increasing their oxidative tolerance over time. So in most cases, we don't want to supplement patients with antioxidants before because that's going to dull a lot of those responses that I'm talking about. I hope you find this information helpful. If you do, please hit the like button, please subscribe, and absolutely send this video to somebody that you think might benefit from the information. We'll see you next time. So whether you're a chiropractor or a naturopath, or an acupuncturist, or a DO, or even an MD, but you're looking at hyperbarics through this lens, the lens that I'm describing, which is applying hyperbarics for all these off-label conditions, this is the class that teaches that. And right now it's the only class that teaches this type of hyperbarics in this way, and that's an actual certification course. Check out hbotusa.com, and uh, right across the, the top you'll see upcoming events. You can click on that, and it'll show you uh, when our next courses are gonna be.